we're going to try this whole vlog thing again. We're going to start it off really awkward and uh, give you a nice view of my legs on this fine morning. So yeah, I'm going to grab a paper out of here. Okay, so I think I got everything I need. Um, hopefully my camera doesn't die, but uh, let's get the car started up here. This truck should be between July 21st and the 25th, just so you guys know, and you're not like itching at the phone until then, like waiting, 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 wondering if you missed the call. Between the 21st and the 25th, we'll give a call, and then on top of that, it'll be posted on social media and all that stuff. You'll you'll know for sure. You'll know who won. We're getting on the road here. We got to make a quick trip to the BMV. I don't know if my camera's going to stay there because it's just kind of sitting on the dash. Luckily, in this Hellcat, if you do decide to be a vlogger and you win this thing, um, the dash is like completely flat, so you can set a huge camera on there. And it's not a lopsided and crap. Let's see if it stays there. That's gonna be the trick. Guys, we're on our way to the BMB. I've gotta do a quick couple things for uh, vehicle stuff. And then uh, also, I've got to re-register the title for Lyle Boone's first gen. You guys remember the red and white uh, 55,000 mile first gen? Well, apparently the owner before me, when he had his out of state inspection done, the officer that wrote down the out of state inspection put down an S instead of a five in the title. And so when he went to register it in Iowa, since then it was out of state, when I registered it, it was in state, so they don't do an inspection if it's in the same state that the title's from. And so he goes to register and they're like, oh yeah, there's one digit wrong. So he sent the title back to me, so we're gonna go and have them correct it and send him the new one. But yeah, fun stuff, you gotta love that. We, we deal with a lot of just little little stuff like that here and there. Um, usually it's always worked out before a winner gets a vehicle, but in this case, I didn't even catch it because I didn't know there was anything wrong with it because they didn't question it at the BMV. But anyway, so we're on our way to the BMV. We're gonna get this done and then uh, we're gonna just, we're just gonna vlog. We're just gonna give it a shot. We're just gonna keep vlogging and see if you guys enjoy it. Car doesn't even have 10,000 miles on it. <laughs> Not even 10,000, and uh, it could be yours. I believe it's got warranty on it, like powertrain, bumper to bumper, like everything. I think it's got warranty on the car until, I think it's 2023 or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first, but I guarantee it'll be 2023 before this thing hits 100,000 miles. Whoever gets this thing, you will be able to enjoy the crap out of it, let me just tell you. On the phone with the wifey, but uh, I told her I saw a cool, I'm vlogging by the way, babe. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> I passed a semi, a big brand new international semi, and it had like a race trailer they're hauling, and it said Ford Performance, and down the side it had like a bunch of sponsor stuff, like Realtree and just a few other like big, well-known like brands. And then you got this one that also says Ford Performance. Okay, it's got all the sponsors listed down there. Menards, of course, has the biggest spot. I don't know where these are going, but we're on 469 headed south right now. If anybody knows where those semis might be headed to or what they might be uh, involved with, that would be kind of cool to know because they definitely look like they're hauling something fast. Quick little update. We're done uploading the video at my parents. Done going to the BMV. Stay. No. Bear, down. Come on, Bear. Come on, dear. Lay down. Lay down. No, not shake. Lay down. I don't want a handshake. Anyways, thought we'd get a little update with Marshall. He had his little eight day circumcision today. So yeah. he's a little bit on the fussy side. I, I don't blame him. Yeah, exactly, Bear. I'd be fussing a little bit too. He's doing good. I know that when I filmed him the other day though, his eyes were closed and he started to close them again. <laughs> Bear. Bear wants to be in the action. It's like he knows we're filming and he wants to be a cuddle bug all of a sudden. Stay. But you can see his eyes are open. There you go, so you're gonna see his big blue eyes. <laughs> I know the other day when we filmed, his eyes were completely closed, which is fine, you know, he's gonna sleep like most of the day right now. Just thought you guys might wanna see him get a little update. And then also, people are asking how you're doing. I, in that video we said, oh yeah, I'm doing good, but like, people just wanna know. You still doing good? How'd you handle the whole appointment good. today? It didn't hurt me, <laughs> but... 
What? Did it hurt your heart a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't there, so like I was kind of feeling the pain just thinking about it on my way out the door this morning. I'm like, oh man, I'm like give him a hug and a kiss for me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I feel so bad for the little guy. Mm. He'll never remember it. He'll be good. Right, bud? <laughs> yeah, he didn't right. look scarred at all. <laughs> yeah, no, he looks fine. <laughs> I just told you guys that I was going to do more vlogging stuff and just little bits and pieces of everything, so I thought I'd just show you a little glimpse of the fam and how they're doing. We're going to be working on the wife's Duramax for a minute, then we're going to be working on her whole axle dismantling suspension uh, project there. Car's going to be getting new tires on it. I'm probably going to take it in tomorrow and uh, have them throw probably like the same set of tires but brand new back on the car or whatever they have that's the closest and highest quality to that. In terms of the Hellcat, you guys have four days left to enter to win this thing, and then that giveaway, well, four or five days. I think four, but it could be five, but four or five days left, Hellcat giveaway's over. Right now, every $5 is 20 entries. This is the one and only time we're running 20X entries for that car, and it's your last few days to enter. Here's her suspension mess that we are going to be trying to help her out with. Really what I gotta do is I gotta take off the strut towers, the shock, the coil, I've got to take off the suspension down low, basically whatever's bolted to the frame here, these bars, upper and lower control arms got to get unbolted. And basically I want it to be able to like remove the whole big giant piece off of it and dismantle that from the axle. I think I should be able to mostly get everything else off by hand, even though it's, I mean, it's going to be really, really heavy. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know for sure, but I think I should be able to at least roll it out of the way if I can get it all unbolted so it's not all one big piece, but we'll see. First, she wants me to try to work on her Duramax for a couple minutes because she's wanting to take the Duramax to get looked at for paint work. And this is something that we try to do with all of our trucks now that we have a really good paint body guy is just like, hey, especially really the older ones more particularly, if we have a truck that there's possibility that there's rust hidden in certain spots, take the truck in, have it fixed so that when they get their truck, they don't have to deal with rust and just crap like that. What Reagan wants me to do is remove the fenders off the truck, front and rear, and then the rocker cover, and then actually expose what's underneath of there so that we can send pictures to our paint and body guy if there's any rust holes. If not, he'll put them back on, but we're guessing there's some kind of rust forming or starting under there somewhere, just because the truck is up north and it's just kind of hard to believe that there'd be no rust at all. So I don't know, it could surprise us, but I mean, you never know. So we're gonna get into looking at that and then uh, if there's rust, don't be scared. We're gonna be sending it off to the paint body shop to get that fixed. That's the whole point of doing this, so you guys get a perfect truck. So we're gonna go in here and grab the tools that we need. A light on here, we're gonna grab some basic small tools. I think we need a flathead screwdriver, and then we need a screw gun with just a Phillips head on it. We're gonna go see if we can get this done with this. So we're gonna start with this rear one here. There could be none, I have no idea, but she said pop these off and if there's any rust, I want to fix it. So, so we're going to do. Let's see if we can clean this up and figure out just how bad it is. So you can actually see how bad it is. Um, there's no hole anywhere. It's still sturdy but you can definitely tell it's starting to eat under the paint here and it's starting to bubble it out a little bit so I don't know exactly how much he'll have to cut or grind or what all I'm guessing that he's gonna have to pretty much cut all of this out pretty much about where the fender flare was and then repiece all of that now if you ground this all down I mean there's no holes here that's the thing there's no holes, it's just starting to bubble. But um, obviously if you don't completely get rid of the rust for sure and you grind it down and for some reason you somehow you miss something, it could just start eating back at it and you know, just get bad all over again. But who knows? Uh, we're gonna take it into the shop though and he's gonna fix it regardless just cause you know, we're not gonna just slap a fender back on and say call it good. We're gonna go check the other backside now, then check the front ones and then we'll see how 
all they look. I'm gonna wait until I get them all off though, and then I'll show you the end result. Let me show you what we actually ended up finding on this truck. I wanna do another little video here some people don't like, but I'm gonna say it anyways. If you are the sleaze bag that thinks you can try to cover up rust and claim it's a rust-free truck and actually get away with it, shame on you. Now, luckily when we bought this truck, Reagan like anticipated that there was probably rust on it because he did have like bushwhacker rocker panel plastic guard covers. And then he also had the factory liners around the bed and all of everything. And some guys just don't know that there's rust under those. So I'm not talking about that type of thing. I'm talking about the cover up stuff that you're lying through your teeth about. Um, I'm not talking about factory fender flares and stuff like that. That's just like this truck had. Like if you're selling a truck and there's no rust on any of the rockers or cap corner or anything, and you've never ripped those off and you're just saying, hey, based on everything else I can see, there's no rust to your knowledge, that's different. I'm talking about somebody who deliberately says, oh no, we had all the rust fixed. This thing is perfect. There's no rust anywhere on it. It's stupid clean. Like it's, it's worth top dollar. And then you've realized you're like, dude, you're freaking, you're just, you're lying. Like stop being a liar. You know what I mean? So luckily when we bought this truck, she anticipated that the guy was a liar. So she negotiated accordingly. This truck she saw listed, the guy was asking 14,000. She knocked him down on price a pretty good chunk because she knocked him down enough to where she thought, okay, by time I get the rust fixed, assuming there's rust in these areas, Areas where he's saying there's none but he's got plastic crap hiding it she's like assuming that that's rusted that's rusted that's rusted and I have to fix it hoping it's not but if it is if I can get it for this certain price then it'll be within the budget to where then I can still fix it all and it'll still like it won't be ridiculously out of price so the front fenders look good though front fenders are good there's no bubbling there's no rotting nothing anywhere through here okay nothing in that fender Nothing in this fender either, nothing in the front fenders at all. Front fenders are perfect, okay. Where the problem lies was the back ones, and I already saw this when we were looking at the truck. I looked back behind here, stuck my head in behind, I looked on the back side of there, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, there's some bubbling on the back there. I couldn't see this. Oh, like, there's some bubbling back there, you know, but these really aren't hard to fix. Like, our body guy's like, uh, yeah, in and out of the shop in like two days. I mean, he knows how to cut and patch super professionally it looks really really good and you'd never know that it was even a, there was even rust on the fender and so he does good work so i wasn't worried about that um but what really got me a little bit ticked was the fact that he kept sticking to his story and i was like dude how are the how's the condition of the rocker panels i kid you not this guy's like oh they're in great condition here's a fan driving by Yes, I heard your truck, man. He's in the fourth gen 1500 gram, blue one. Anyways, I said, so what's under the rocker panels? And he's like, oh, you know, under these guards, cause he had these stupid guards, you know, that were like molded up, you know, like that to hide the rocker panels. And he's like, oh, we just put those on there to protect the rocker panels. Cause we just had the rockers all replaced in the cap corner. So, you know, we're just trying to keep them nice. So we don't get rock chips from these, you know, these monster, you know, 33 or 35 inch tires. And I'm like, Okay, and I went over to Reagan. I said don't give him full price. I said I guarantee you it's freaking rotted out under that thing I said it might not be but I can just kind of tell like when somebody's just being sleazy I'm like you you don't put freaking rocker panel guards on it and try to convince me It's just so, it's just so perfect under there It was actually perfect You just freaking keep them off and put like clear bra on it or like that rock guard stuff that you can paint over to make it look factory but not you know not cheap looking it's mostly this back half right here you can see that portion of the rocker luckily we were just assuming that the guy was lying <laughs> and so uh he actually was he actually did come down on price because pretty sure he realized that we hadn't figured out nothing's eaten up like into the cap it's just literally from here down like the back half of the rocker, like the extended cap part of the truck. It's the exact same thing on the other side. Now this truck's going to paint and body work and she's gonna go through all the videos on that and the results and all that stuff. For anybody that's watching, it's like, oh my gosh, I entered to win that truck. I didn't know there was rust on it. You guys gotta keep in mind, this truck is 15 years old and it lived like half of its life up north. Rust is just bound to happen on these things if you drive them at all. And rust is getting fixed starting tomorrow. Well, I was gonna work on the axle stuff for my wife today. However, she said the dinner would be ready in five minutes. So I'm gonna have to wrap it up really. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys got some entertainment out of it. If you did, leave a fat thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Join the team, join the family. Enter to win this Hellcat PDAparacode.com. Every $5 is 20 entries and that car plus $5,000 cash could be yours. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.